Joe of Schmelson Illustration and today I'm doing another studio vlog. I've got a couple different projects going on today that I'm excited about and thought I would take you along on. Sorry, Watson's being a cat. And yeah, I've been kind of quiet the last couple of weeks just because COVID hit me with the feels and uh, there's not really any other way to put it. Haven't done anything art or creative in the last couple of weeks, which is kind of a bummer, but that's why I'm doing a bunch of new projects. Some friends at work asked me to do a couple different projects and they were in mediums that I'd never really used before or hadn't used in a really long time. So it kind of got that creative flow going. I just recently did a pour canvas for the very first time, which I will show here. And my coworker loved that. Uh, and I posted a little bit of it on Instagram and a cousin of mine reached out. She saw it and said, those are the colors of my living room. I need it. And I told her it was already for a coworker, but I'd make her another one. And so we're using pretty much the same colors, turquoise, blue, white, and gold, essentially is our theme today. The last one I did, well, it was my first time, so it was quite the experimentation, which poor, can poor canvases really are. That's kind of what it is. I've got a couple other projects I'm working on get new mediums and stuff that I'm excited about. So yeah, today should hopefully be a fun day and we're gonna start off with this canvas pour. Okay, let's get started. I've got the canvas mostly covered in white paint. It's not perfect, I did goof up the first time, which is why you're only seeing the second round. I want to cover this mostly with these two colors and have the rest of this just kind of trickle in. And I want to do kind of an angled guy because I think that was way better eye movement than doing a spiral and like lifting. Okay, that's kind of cool. Cool splash, gotta love that. white in the middle. I was going to do like a white in the middle of all that, but I think this will be okay. I do love how this is already like making shapes. I don't know what else to call that. Close this before I spill it. Let's do, okay, let's do this because this is going to be an accent and this is going to be like our blending color. A little bit of interaction, just a little bit. Sorry, I'm probably at like the worst angle. Okay, so this metallic gold, I already know, transitions into this beautifully. I also want this to kind of mix with this a little bit. So these are gonna be tiny bits, but their purpose is to interact with this. So they're just gonna be little bitty accents. I have a lot right there. Let's hang out in some of this white. Just a, just a little peek. Not a, not a really there, just a like, we're gonna say hello, just quietly. Fingers crossed anyway. Me pretending I know what I'm doing. But then on the reverse of that, I do kind of want... Oh, these colors are so pretty! I don't get why people stick with just the blues. Like, I mean, I do because poor canvases make like water, essentially. And so duh, use blue, make an ocean, make a wave, but the abstract art of it is like, use any color you want. All right, we're losing our blue a little bit. So I want some more blue to be over here. Hopefully right here. And then we're gonna use this guy, because I don't see this anywhere. That gold is kind of overpowering, huh? We have a mess. Score. Did the 
this cool lifting effect on the other one. Um, it's a pouring effect where you like put paper towel on the whole thing and then try and lift in the center or maybe someplace else. I found you can get some really kind of cool, you can control the movement a bit better or you have the ability to when you just do one sheet at a time. You can do small sections instead of needing to do the whole thing at once. Kind of make it a little bit tacky. And then, kind of do that. Ooh, I love that. We're just gonna drop that on the ground because I've got a tarp there. Yes, I love that. I mean, of course, if you had a hair blow dryer, this would be also very effective. Be good to utilize at this point. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of wish that I had more whites to go in and out a little bit. But maybe I can blow on it and maybe that'll do that movement that I'm looking for. Blow on that. Oh, you're getting a little bit of selling over here, cool. I love when you can get selling without a blowtorch because I don't have a blowtorch. Oh, we lost a lot of our color there. Crap. I want this yellow to come back. All right, let's blow on it. Strong because I don't have the cool attachment for hair blow dryer. Let's pull on this first. We still on. Cool. I feel like I'm gonna get paint all over my mouth. Look at this. All right, you're gonna get my head. Sorry, there's like no way around it. Just touch this side with my arm, which is cool. Actually, this is interacting really well. We'll let's go this way. Cool. Yeah, this just looks like a straight line, which is okay, but let's see what we can do. To dig that. Ah, let's see, let's see what's with this. See what happens. Digging that, digging that. Okay, you can kind of see where I've blown now. Like, this has a similar pattern, this has a similar pattern, but this is totally not like that which is okay because the variation is very nice but like this is really smooth and then this is really like jellyfish tendrils but do i want to mess with it i don't think i do i feel like at this point if i futz with it anymore i'm gonna ruin it i don't know it's just something i don't think i i am too much of a realist instead of a abstract person to totally get lost in this concept. I view it as a whole instead of these little bits, but the colors are meshing beautifully and I, li I like the movement. I like the little bits of white that's popping in through here. I think the gold gets in nice. My yellow add-ons might have been a little bit too much, but I think we're okay. Like this right here is my favorite part. Like I'll probably take a picture of this and put that on Instagram. I just realized looking over the video that you can't see the whole thing, so I apologize for that. I don't have a proper tripod. This here is my favorite bit. But it is kind of cool to get lost in all of this. And then over here is what you didn't quite get to see. I think this is really pretty too. Like that'd be a cool screensaver. But as a whole, here she is. Hopefully I don't have to do much futzing later. I've locked the door behind me so that this little guy doesn't get in there and ruin the wet paint. So I'm downstairs now to work on my next project and my next like medium that I'm using is polymer clay and I'm gonna fill this guy. I think he's really cool to fill with like a terrarium or something uh, with like little succulents and flowers and maybe some fruits or cool stones or crystals. I think it'd be fun to make just a little tiny garden that's always there and is really bright and colorful but I don't have to think about and I think it'll be really good practice utilizing the clay and I want to color it and just that that's what the vibe has been so right now I want to sketch out everything I'm gonna put in there figure out dimensions and everything and some other couple of clay projects because that's what's really been getting me going recently though that I've been really excited about and I've got clay white clay coming on Saturday so in three more days 
and I'm so excited to play with it. I've been really inspired by places, Instagram stories like Narwhal Carousel Co Company and Creative Rachie, I believe it is on YouTube. Just really pretty stuff, whimsical, childish, cutesy, fantastical, just really cute stuff and I really want to do stuff like that. And that's where my inspiration is coming from and I just haven't stopped thinking about it for the last couple of weeks and so I decided I've been thinking about it for a long time so I'm just gonna hunker down and do it. I did only get white just so I wouldn't have to invest in all of the colors if I didn't like the colors especially since my aesthetic was really like bright colors but then also pastel rainbowy stuff not really neutrals. So hopefully I use the white and if I love it then I'll keep buying stuff and maybe invest in some colors otherwise I'm just gonna kind of color them with chalk pastels is the goal right now I'm hoping hopefully gonna do a video on that whole process when I get to that point but right now I just need to sketch up my idea so I have a plan instead of go in with no idea whatsoever <laughs> okay me realizing I had paint on my face yay poor canvas <laughs> seriously just so obsessed with watching Rachy, creative Rachy videos and doing clay. It's so much fun to watch and look at this cute little cake. It's absolutely adorable and it's ombre on the inside and strawberries and summery and just, oh. I figured I ought to show you this sketch, how it's gone so far before I start coloring it and ruin it because... I don't understand colored pencils. I want to use colored pencils to get the color scheme and everything, but essentially right now we've got a little tree stump here, some crystals that I want to be blue, they'll have like little leaves, the roots are going to be exposed, some flowers are going to sit here. I've got a cute little round cactus with a stem and a flower up here, but I'm starting to think that this isn't going to be stable enough to hold this, like a more experienced clay person could do it, but I don't know if I'm cool enough yet. Then there's this really cool viney guy. It's just kind of whimsical and didn't doesn't actually make sense, but the way somebody did it with like an ombre effect and a little flower and some thorns is really cute. Here's a gray rock I want to do in some rainbowy, pastel-y, mermaid color mushrooms, and then just little spots to do, do mushrooms. Oh, and then I want to do bits of moss, so like green, and then like pick at it. Um, so that'll be cool. And then I think there's lavender or like hyacinth or something, but pretty purple, like bell-shaped loopy guys that I think are going to be cute and just fill up the height of this space. And then a bunch of succulents and some grass, just some nice greenery with pops of like colors faded on top of it. And same here, just some cute viney, greeny greens, essentially, to fill the space. And I'm hoping this will be sand. I don't know how I'm going to make that up because I'm not going to like make sand. I'll either find some or like beads or something. And then I want to do a little cat because I want to make Watson. Hey, cube pie. Yeah, I'm going to make you out of clay. Okay, and then I want him to, like, be center, but I wasn't going to pretend to draw him because I'm bad at that. But I did find a tutorial online that I'm hoping to follow to utilize that. It's very ambitious, but it's going to be cute, and it's going to be... I'm going to love it. If it, were, if it turns out, I am going to love it. Watson, let go. Dude. Thank you. Not for you. <laughs> well, I literally just finished the coloring of my little terrarium that I'm going to make. Watson! Why? Yeah, is it that exciting? <laughs> I'm going to ignore him. Here's my color scheme, except for like if you take out all of these orangishy colors, because that's gonna be the sand. And I really like it. I think how I like how whimsical it is. Um, yeah, I'm hoping my ambition works out, pans out, whatever. Um, oh yeah, I might have to do more of these as backgrounds too, but that'll like get incorporated. That's fine. Um, I did end up 
you can kind of see here blocking out what colors I'm going to use for clay since I'm buying white clay. So I'll need to make a color for the rock, base colors for the tree, the crystal I want to do a cool gradient, and the lilac bells I want to do a gradient, and then just a variation of colors for the succulents, but to get that nice little color pop on the ends, or like add blue and pinks, I want to, I'll dust that on with pastels. So yeah, I kind of blocked that out so I knew what the heck I was doing. These little mushrooms will be white and then just dust it on with color at the top at the last minute. I'm The biggest thing I'm nervous about is baking it. Like, I'll probably decide as I go, but will I bake it before I assemble it or after I assemble it? Like, the idea of putting this thing in there in the oven, I don't know how to get it to stay upright and everything to stay inside of it and to not catch on fire. Hi, Watson. You are just so helpful, sweetheart. Um, but I'm excited to still work on it on this weekend because hopefully I'll get my clay on Saturday. Okay, you can kind of see all the ickiness that is the disaster of my studio room. We're just not going to talk about it. I... Another thing I want to do next week is another pour of canvas that I actually have a fun idea for, like creatively, that like I desire, versus like let's throw some colors together and see if I can figure out how to pour canvas. Um, so I'm going to gesso this bad boy. It's a super awkward painting I did back in high school, hopefully you can see the whole thing. Um, it's about to disappear. I have it marked for ooh, 2014, that was six years ago. My goodness, I actually don't hate the clothing folds, but I don't want to talk about this. So we're going to gesso that, and I figured I would show you how the pork canvas from this morning is going. It's currently like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It didn't take me like 6 hours to do the sketch for the clay, but I had lunch, and you might be able to tell I took a nap, <laughs> and yeah, so time passed. Um, but here is... Okay, do this, fingers crossed. There we go. Here is our canvas pour. We've got some more selling. So, this just looks even cooler than it did before. I think all the little bits of selling that's going on around here, remember how I wanted to get blue to pop up in here? It did. But all that sell work is making this like blown out bit connect a lot better so I'm really happy with that and I don't really know where this blue came from but okay so yeah it's nice and pretty and I'm gonna do a little gesso oh also these little droplets look super cool especially on this side where I tipped it That just looks awesome. It looks like it should be a little environment or something. All right, time to make this bad boy disappear. this leftover paint there's actually quite a bit in these last four and I hate the idea of just like throwing it out especially that turquoise is such a pretty color I have plenty of the the metallic gold so that I don't really care too much about but it makes me sad does anybody know how to store pour acrylics after you kind of mix them I mean they come in bottles pre pre fluidated or whatever like this one but I don't know We'll see if I can figure it out and see if I can use these colors later at all. I don't know. I think that is going to end the vlog for me though. The only thing left I have yet to do is I was going to do some more sketching of a couple clay projects. I think I'm going to do a mama fox and a baby fox for a co-worker. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I don't really want to think too much about it. I think I'm just going to go do some free sketching while watching art videos. Get some inspo 
going for me. Art business, color palettes, just different types of inspiration. I really do like watching YouTube. And at some point, I'm going to set up a Skillshare so I can actually sit down and learn some things because I've got the time. But right now, I'm just going to go get some inspiration from YouTube and do some free sketching. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It's fun for me to do these videos. I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you can learn a little bit or something from them. Get your own inspiration from this video. That's really what my goal is to try and encourage and inspire. But stick around, hit the subscribe button if you want to see what I do with that clay sketch idea. I'm very excited to fumble and mess up and screw up and make an absolute mess with the clay when I get it this weekend. Otherwise, you have a great rest of your day. Bye.